Hey, this is Clean Phil Wanted, and this is what I made this week. It is a Tenkara fly fishing box, but we will be using this one as a small jewelry box. So Tenkara is a form of Japanese fly fishing, and it is really fun to do, but I cannot do it here in New Zealand because it is technically illegal. You need to have a running line, and Tenkara does not have a running line. If you are into Tenkara, you have most likely seen the box that this one has been modeled after. The owner of it is a gentleman named Dr. Ishigaki, and I'm sure I'm murdering his name, so I apologize about that right now. As I mentioned earlier, this one's intention was to be a jewelry box for pieces that end up over on the counter. But it's also a prototype for when I do make a final version of Dr. Eyes box. After the build, I'll tell you the things that I will change on the next version of this so that it will be a viable fly box. So this whole project I made out of scrap pieces of wood from my previous projects. The body of this fly box is 4 inches by 5 inches, which is about the size of my one other fly box. The thickness of this material is 3 quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters. The top and bottom were made from pieces that were about half an inch thick. And I resold that material in half so that I could have both mesh top and bottom. I used a 5 16th inch auger bit with my brace to drill holes so that I could feed my coping saw blades through. Coping saw is a lot of fun to use as long as you have a good blade. Stock blades tend to not be very fun to use at all. I then used rasps, files, and sandpaper to clean up the shape. And I glued the top and the bottom onto their respective pieces. Clean them clean. And using that same hand plane, I beveled the top of the bottom. And cut the mortises for the hinges. I also used that same 5 16th auger bit to drill the hole for the magnet. This carving was loosely based on one of the doors at the Green Dragon up in Hobbiton. And I finished it with a few coats of shellac, thinned out shellac, and two coats of furniture wax. If this was going to be going on the stream, I would absolutely be using a poly acrylic instead. So things I would change on this to make it a viable fly box. I'd probably put a poly acrylic on it or a polyurethane on it. This has shellac on it and I'm not sure how well that'll hold up in water. The next thing I would put foam material over here to keep streamers there and I'd use that magnetic sheet material in the bottom of each one of these wells to hold your flies in. If you look at Dr. Zai's box, he has six magnets on his box holding it shut. One magnet is what I have, and that is definitely not enough. I'd almost go to the point of saying I'd put a latch on here or some kind of leather strap to keep it closed. I'd take the top and the bottom down to about 3 16ths of an inch or an eighth of an inch, and I'd probably remove that same amount of material from the two center halves. And the very last thing I know I could promise you I would do is I'd drill a hole in one of these corners 
so that I could leash it to myself. I don't want this falling into the water and floating away from me while I cannot wade fast enough after it. I do have a number of other fly fishing projects in the pipeline, so please subscribe so you don't miss out on those when I get to them. Please leave a like so you keep me motivated and please leave some comments so that I know ideas that you'd like me to try. I also have a website now called cleanfillwanted.com. It is just a blog of my previous projects as well as the ones that I'm currently working on. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you around next week.